Yo, 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 it's Robbo of Barn in Effect and welcome back to another van vlog. How are you guys doing? Obviously, uh, done a few of these in quick succession now. Basically, on a long drive back from Birmingham to Shropshire because of the traffic, so I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll have a little chat with the new people that have been coming from Twitch TV. Twitch TV voice break! Uh, Twitch TV if you're from Twitch TV and obviously if you some old-school people from YouTube who've been tuning in for other long so I'm trying to indicate and turn right here if anybody will let me out which they won't um, yeah basically if you're from the old-school Twitch uh, YouTube how you doing welcome back really appreciate your your support as always and if you're new from Twitch TV then again Welcome, welcome. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for being here. This one, this vlog, as I said, is going to be all about my journey from when I started, as I spoke about in the last video. Um, starting off Call of Duty Zombies, building a little bit of a base, but doing it with friends, because that's the way to get an audience together with some, some games. Well, I graduated from there onto single player games, as I said before on the other videos, Call of Duty just lost its appeal to me and I didn't enjoy playing it so I stopped playing it and I wanted to get into a, a single player game that I could just chill and the first one that I started playing uh, on my own was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas streamed that a few times this was this was this one wasn't get me words out of minute. this wasn't online this was GTA San Andreas the main game uh, which had a relative success it wasn't too bad not too uh, not too bad again didn't set any uh, any records or anything like that but we had some good fun good fun did a few online uh, games as well um, and stream those relative success again I think it was because it was a single player game and you can't concentrate on actually playing the game which is you know a mentally laboring event if you're playing some of these games that require concentration such as main shoot em ups do that kind of thing so i don't think my audience interaction was as good as it possibly could be so i was looking for other games to play excuse me and um this woman in front of me is just an absolute biatch Sorry, I'm, I'm on the M6 and people are just going mental, I don't know why, they're just moving around. There must be an accident up, fr up front or something, I'll probably report on it later. But uh, Yeah, so I went on to another game called Final Fantasy 7 for a little while. Started practicing on that and because Final Fantasy 10 was going to be coming out, Final Fantasy, well not coming out, Final Fantasy 10 and X. Uh, to remaster was coming out so I played that for a little bit and started playing what was called Final Fantasy Friday and that was the first time that I started playing a game and putting a little bit of a gimmick on it usually it was just playing a game playing this game or playing that game well this time I actually called you know set up a schedule I thought you know what I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna play and I'm gonna make a schedule because it came to a point two or three years ago um, that X splits stopped being free and you have to pay for it so i made a thought right i'm gonna make you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pay for it and it was only like because it was in beta or something very low cost it was only like a tenner or something silly uh, so I, I paid for it streamed on and off never really taken it too seriously um and then i was, I was like that for about a year and i got up to about 200 followers so in the space of a year and a half since I very first started to about halfway point to where we are now, on and off streaming, no schedule, no advertising or anything, basically I bang a game on and just click uh, tra you know, transmit to, to Twitch TV and that was it. So I got up to about 200, 250 followers. And each stream I'll probably get three or four people in maximum. And I suppose this, some of the followers were from years ago when I first started playing zombies or anything like that, you don't know. Anyway, as I said, it come up to March time and I had to renew the, uh, the expert license. 
and I thought, yeah, they still gave me a decent deal. But I thought, oh, I thought voice crack. <laughs> but I thought, what shall I do? I'm only gonna knock it on the head and not bother streaming anymore. Or I'm gonna pay for the pro license to start streaming again. But this time, if I'm going to start streaming again, I've got to start taking it a little bit more seriously. Because there's no point paying for it and not doing it. So it was at that point in March, uh, last year, when March 2014 it was, uh, I decided, I said, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll give it a go, I'll pay for it, and I'll, I'll stick at it for the duration of the license, which was two years. If I don't get anywhere, then I'll just knock it on the head. So it's from that point that I set up a schedule, and that is another top tip: is set yourself the schedule of when you're going to stream and what you are going to stream. 